Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Another Crab's Treasure. Last time we left off, we had some kind of weird audio issue going on. I, I think I've solved it. Krill sounds more how I would expect and everything. I, I, I tried a bunch of different things, so I'm not really sure what fixed it or anything like that. But, uh, alright, let's uh, see what we can get into today, why don't we? Um, we do have that sick boss fight that was down here that I died to before, mostly probably because I didn't have a shield. Um, obviously we need to go to the caves, but, uh, probably couldn't hurt to look around, see what, uh... See what else we could get into. I see a little... That's the wrong enemy and not who I wanted to lock onto, but that is the correct enemy and is who I wanted to lock onto. Shoot. And that gets me over here, which gets me this stuff that, uh, I still don't know how to use yet. Um, I'm sure it's going to come up at some point. Um, uh, but, and when it does, oh boy howdy, I'm going to have a lot. Excuse? Huh. Hello. There's a character up there that I can talk to. Kind of just want to explore over around this area with a bit more of a fine tooth comb. Considering uh, I ignored a pretty good chunk of it. Uh, earlier. So, and now that we have the grappling hook, there's so much more I can do. Yeah, games seems to have fixed what whatever it was on about. So, hopefully that comes across in the recording as well. Um, sit? Oh, I can sit! Look at you! Oh, that's adorable! I can just sit on a cork. I didn't know what that was gonna be. Um... Can I make that if I sprint? Yes. Hello. Nice hat. Why, hello there. Come to bask in my beauty. Nothing wrong with that. Just look at my gorgeous shell and the envy-inducing trash I wear upon it. My charm rivals that of the Duchess herself, does it not? Do not tell her I said that, okay? Okay. Well, hello there. Okay, so I need to just say the same stuff. Alright. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you, you, nice, nice, nice hat. I already said it. Nice hat. Let's see what else we can get into. Wee. Alright, up here there's a big dork. There's a large dorkus. Of the, of the giant variety. Um. Oh, okay. Didn't expect you to hit that many times. Whoop, whoop, get out of there. Whoop. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, my, my HP is making this a lot easier now. Now that I actually have some real health. I was super weak earlier because I was just trying to run around before, you know, getting access to, like, all of the mechanics and stuff. Oh, I tried to block that. Oh. Oh, God. My shell is badly damaged. Okay. So it was, yeah, it was LB. I was about to say, I'm just trying to make sure here that I was pressing the right button there, because at one point I pressed LT, I think, instead of the actual block button. So, eat your heart kelp. Cool. Alright, what do we got? We, I, just, I love the little roll. The defensive roll that you can do, that's so adorable. Another bread claw. Uh, up there, please. And then I will swim over here. A hair claw! Small chunk of plastic and metal in the shape of a crab's claw. It must be worth a lot! 2,500. I still don't even have anybody to trade that stuff into. I'm sure we will find it, though. Hello, down here. I don't actually think I've explored this part. There's a giant one of those, so no, I don't, I don't think I have explored down there. A lot of the little tiny fishies hanging out too. And whatever that is over there. Okay, we'll get we'll get to that, I guess. What what what's the deal with you, huh? That weird looking thing. Is it it's a fish on like a hanging out on a plant? Mm-hmm. I should um Try dodging. Like, I, I shouldn't totally forsake dodging. A, a trap I always kind of fall into in these games is I either wholly lean on dodging or the shield, and I don't mix them in as I should. A sponge. 
an absor 18 MSG, okay. An absorbent yellow and poor specimen, plus 33% umami regeneration from attacking. What are you on about? Okay. Why are you on like a bonbon? What, what even is this? Kind of looks like, oh, I guess it's the, oh, you know what? It's the things that, that's what it is. It's the things that hold balloons down. You know? Those things? That's totally what it is. It's the things that hold balloons- Excuse me? I can get a party hat? As a shield? Oh my god, also there's that boss over there who I do want to fight. If possible. Uh, oh no. Oh no! No, 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 okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. I was- I thought for a second, I was like, uh-oh. Am I- am I falling endlessly into a void with no collision? Or not, not, not collision, it does have collision, but it's slippery. I'm not gonna stop falling. Uh, small weight, plus two ima umami, party time. Oh, it looks so cute though. Look at me. What's the sprint look like? Ah, we just roll, I see. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, let's uh, go hit up the thingy again. And then... I just want to see if I can attempt that boss fight, possibly. Do I think I'm going to win? No, not not really. Oh my god, I get... I get flipped turned upside down so easy. There, there it is, it's up here. Maybe we should just hold off on it. Yeah, you know what, we'll, we'll hold off on it for now. I can come back stronger. I hope, hopefully it doesn't, like, trivialize the fight, but it did one hit me earlier, so I... Somewhat skeptical that I'm gonna trivialize it by coming back later. But we found a new, uh, new hat. About that. Cease. Living. Whoop! Ah! Uh, okay, I'm out. Alright, alright, there's too many, too many foes for me. Whee! Alright. So, um... There was that thing I could equip, the rusty nail. I just need three shell resistance. How much? I have 1,100. Uh, so that's quite exciting. There was that big enemy down there. I probably should have beat up. Um, we need, what was it, what was it, three? So that gives me three. So, yes. Good job. So now I should be able to equip it, yes? Yes? Oh, wait, I can't because the, the, the sea star. I have to take- Oh, no! <laughs> I'll have to take off the sea star or the limpet to, uh, to put this on. Unfortunately. I have the requirement, but I don't have the requirement without the extra stats from the limpet. Or lim I, I'm guessing that's how I say it. I'm probably saying it wrong and everyone's laughing at me and they're like, <laughs> Quasi don't know how to say things. And it's true. But... Let's go ahead and, uh, just- just head up here. Let's go. I'm happy it seems like the audio issue is sorted out. Like I said, it seemed like it was mostly just affecting... ...like audio last time. It seemed like kind of echoey or something. It, it was quite hard to pin down. But it- there was definitely something weird going on with it. The way I explained it to my wife is it sounded like the dialogue was underwater, which, haha, yes. But, I don't think it was supposed to sound that underwater. <laughs> I don't know, it was very odd. Very, very odd. Alright. So, we gotta get back up here. Alright, we are back up here. So... Drop... I'm guessing this means, like... Maybe I should just use it. What I was thinking is it makes me drop, but what if it just makes a shortcut? That's okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that last time because that would have saved my walk back up here. When I saw it the first time, I thought it meant like, oh, you drop down too. Like you just go down it and there's not an easy way back up, but that makes way more sense. So, okay, now now we know. We know. I'm sure I got a comment or two about that because, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right. Watch out for the poison goop. Um, I did see a absolutely amazing, um, uh, I think it was a TikTok from the developers, AgroCrab, where they, uh, they said, oh, is, um, is, uh, another crab's treasure not souls-like enough for you? We're introducing a, a, a mode, a, like, a, a toggle you can put on 
I think it's a joke. I don't know if it's actually a real thing they're going to put in. Where you can turn the game, like, very dark and brooding. It loses a lot of its color. They also made it so you can make Krill sad instead of happy and go lucky. <laughs> and, uh, there's... Uh, they had one that was, like, a suit of armor. And, um, various things like that. It, it was funny. I don't think it's real. I don't think they're actually going to do that. But it's... it's funny. Shell shock. You shell. Hey, you. Die! Oh! Oh, I thought I was doing a plunging attack for a second. That would have been sick. Is that a cute? Get that away from me, you disgusting little- No! Ew! A cotton swab, Q-tip, what, 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 whatever various areas call it. Most people call it a Q-tip here, but I've also seen cotton swab. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good, we're back. In an effort to recover his home, the plucky hermit crab ventures into a mysterious cave. But he quickly discovers that the return journey will be significantly more challenging. Uh, hello? Who's talking? He approaches the ghostly figure in front of him. Uh, no! Don't narrate my life. You don't know my life. You don't know me. Moon snail shell found. Enter. I don't have enough for a level up, but, uh, you know. Look at our shell collection. It's coming along, you know? Six out of sixty-nine. All right. Um, are you going to teach me about umami? Hiya, my name's Krill. Do you know of anything shiny in this cave? Something that might impress, like, a huge, beautiful crab lady? Confused and desperate, the hermit crab begins begging help from strangers. Hey, I'm not desperate. Yet. <laughs> Thus far, he has persevered by taking refuge in artifacts from beyond the waves. But to survive from here on out, he must awaken the currents inside of him. He must access the power of Umami. Umami? Look, if there's some secret I should know about, can you please just tell me what it is? You know what? This is one of those words where I feel I feel like I should check it sometimes. I have a, I have a few words like this. Oh god, I'm pulling up my internet browser. Please don't start auto-playing like Twitch or something. Thank you. Um, I want to know how this is actually pronounced. So, uh, let's look up the word, just- just to make sure I'm halfway pronouncing it correctly. Umami. Okay, cool, I'm doing it right. Yay! <laughs> you might have been able to hear that on- on there, so. Uh, there's some secret I should know about. Can you just please tell me what it is? Stuff's been convoluted enough ever since I left the tide pool. God, that face, that's me, that's my face. Feeling pity for the helpless creature, the noble moon snail deigns to awaken his latent abilities manually. You better not be messing with- Whoa! What the shell was that? I feel... tingly? The hermit crab dons a metal shell and feels a new ability awaken. I do? Yes, he does. Umami training! Shell spells! While charging- well, or while wearing a shell, press X to consume umami charges and activate its unique shell spell. Used umami charges will regenerate slowly when you attack enemies with your fork. Acknowledge knowledge. Uh, press X while wearing a shell. So... Shell shock? What does that do? My shell's just shocky, so I imagine if, like, somebody hits it now or something. Transmute your umami into a bolt of lightning, electrifying your shell. And I guess that just hurts people if... They hit me? This is fizzle. What does... what does this one do? Replen uh, releases pressurized air to push away enemies in a cone? Interesting. I think I'm gonna stick with this one. But, uh, thank you. So, what is this umami stuff exactly? Hermit Crab continues into the cavern, excited to make use of its new ability. Fine. Be that way. A creature blocks the Hermit Crab's path. Immune to his physical attacks, it may only be dispatched by his newfound umami powers. Oh, isn't that convenient? Noble Moon Snail denies any involvement in manufacturing this scenario. I see. Um. We hit me. Do it, nerd. Do it. Hit me. There we go. Do it. Do it now. Yeah. The one citizen hermit crab's ability to slaughter his enemies has increased dramatically. Did you have to put it that way? Senses that the reward he seeks lies further within this cavern. As well as the opportunity to meet his newfound idol, the mysterious and attractive moon snail in the flesh. Guess I've got no choice. Uh, uh, attractive, you say? Hello. Oh, that just restores my umami points. Okay, cool. 
So normally we get them back just by attacking, but... So shells are gonna be mostly what my magic abilities are tied to, so finding a shell that I really, really like would be useful. Hello. A surprise strike from your shell that launches the enemy in front of you. Ooh, that sounds like it could be spicy. Oh, spicy, spicy. Thank you. Give. And... Uh, Alright. Let's just continue through the little cute cave. This game's adorable. I love this kind of setting. So, so much. And... Ooh. Oh, does it not want me to do that on this one? Okay. We can do that instead. Alright. Red Claw. I need the ability to trade these in. No. Oh god, you're one of the ones that can... Haha! -ha! I launched you, nerd! It is, it is actually a launcher. They do go into the air and I can proceed with aerial combat after that, so... That's quite interesting. There's another cap. Might as well swap to the new bottle cap. Whee! Up we go. I am interested to see- oh wait, no, we already know- I was about to say I was interested in seeing what the banana peel ability is, but no, we already know. I just eat part of my shell to heal. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. There we go. 33 of those. Sit! Look at you! Look at how cute you are! Maybe we should make this the thumbnail. Maybe we sit on this for like a- a few seconds? Boom. Alright, make sure you catch that in editing. Editor. You little shit. I can talk to the editor that way because the editor is me. So... <laughs> ah! Not the Q-tip, please! No, eat! Okay. Shell is badly damaged. Ow. Eat. Faster. Thank you. Oh, my shell broken. Um, did you die? You died. Okay. Okay, that, that, was, that was bad. I performed bad, okay? <laughs> we, 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 we choked. A lot. But it's fine, because we made it! Yay! Wow, yeah! There we go. We're out of here. Bread claw. Drop. Yeah, I'm glad I- I'm glad I decided to- to just try that out. Um... But yeah, it working as a two-way... ...shortcut makes way more sense. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't have a lot of HP and these things look scary and I did not see... ...kelp back there. Hmm. At least this seems like it's one of the small ones that I can bully. It is not one of the small ones that I can bully. I thought it would get stun-locked. It did not. This game is meant to be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, um... I'm not gonna get discouraged, don't worry. Alright, so... Just gotta get back up here. Luckily we... Activated the shortcut, like, right before I died. So, uh, I can do one of these. And then, uh, one of these. Wee. All right, and look at that. I'm back to where I was, and I'm here to kick your ass this time. Uh, I actually think I would prefer my soda can. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I was like, oh, let me use my fizzle ability, and I threw myself off the map. No! I didn't think about the fact that it would have recoil. <laughs> But it super has recoil. <laughs> I was trying to knock you off, not the other way around. Ow. Can I do it? Balance and capsize. Hitting an enemy with enough attacks to max out their balance meter will open them up to being capsized. When their health bar starts flashing, hit them with a powerful attack such as a charge attack to knock them down. Ah, uh, okay. So that's how this one works. And umami attacks look like they work as well. To specifically trigger that. Fun. Cool. I'm happy with that. Also, uh, fun fact, we don't die when we fall into death pits. So a lot of the platforming fear of like, uh, oh hey, another limpet. Um, a lot of the platforming fear from like a Souls game is gone. 
Um, and I would venture to say the platforming in this is much easier than Souls platforming as well, because Souls platforming is like supposed like y your character's supposed to move bad for platforming, because they're not really made for it. Hi. Okay, you're done. No. There we go. Okay, I fared a lot better that time. I wanted to try knocking an enemy off, but... Hello. I, this is gonna sound terrible, but... Luckily, there's so much garbage in the sea, so it's easy for me to, uh... <laughs> to get new shells. Shot glass. Uh, defense 70? What is that debuff, though? Once worn by the denizens of the grove, the shell can withstand seemingly any single hit, but quickly falls to pieces afterwards. Shards. Summons retaliatory glass shards that last for as long as you continue to block. Ooh. Okay, so it's just a fragile thing, and glass shards are going to come out and stuff. A whole lot of enemies hanging out up there. Um, it does look like I can get up here and do things, though. So why don't we try this first? Ooh, one of the little, uh, martini swords! Uh-huh. They don't. Yeah, it's one of the little martini swords. Uh... Where's my next checkpoint? Okay, well this gets me up here. Oh, how I wish there were plunging attacks in this particular moment. Good. Come to me. And we. Heart kelp sprout. Ooh. Permanently increase the amount of heart kelp pods I can hold. Thank you. That is a good. Um. Ooh, there's more over there. I'm not making that. Okay. Hi, I'm here. Uh, shell broken. Okay, I mean, it's it survived its one hit. I should have used the shard's ability. Oh my god, you hurt. Heat. Okay, we're good. Okay. Shell. Okay. Get over here. Gimme. Let me, uh, ow! Let me jump up here real quick, friend. Okay? Thank you. Appreciate you. Uh-oh. The other one has been aggroed. I'm dead. Okay. A watery grave. Yeah, uh, kind of got bodied there. Kind of got bodied there. Um, I need my ship back, though. Very badly. God, I'm still very, very much getting used to things here. I didn't even use my mommy ability at all there. And I, uh, really should have. You know? Up we go. Wee. Alright, so... Let's just get back to where we were. I'm gonna try to avoid as many of these enemies as I can, so I just don't preemptively lose HP. There we go. Would have been neat to get the shot glass again, but who needs it? Okay, it's just me and you. Swing! Eat that, nerd. There we go. This is my house. Thank you. Got my junk. I got a bunch of stuff for beating up that dork. Um, they also drop... The ones with purple eyes also drop that stuff. Ow. Ow! There's another one! Okay. Oh! Okay. <laughs> It's gonna fall again. We're fine. Bang, bang. Okay. Maybe I should try to airborne you. Okay. Okay. You know, maybe we should be putting more points into HP and stuff. Um, the shot glass... Could be good here. Could be good for me. I didn't realize there were two elevators going up at different spots right there, but... Hit me! Hit me! Do it! Ha ha ha! 
Ow! Oh my god, I just got launched. Ah! No. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, that thing's good. Big banana peel! Oh, it shrunk down for me. Thank you. There's also a party hat and a heart kelp. Okay, yeah, so that, um, that shot glass is quite good, actually. Quite good. I would say. What does party time do? Colorful paper cone. Perhaps once wielded as the tip of a spear. A small blast of confetti that deals damage and interrupts enemies. Um, I should read the ones that I haven't read before, too. Luckily, we have a log of all of them back at base. A husk of a once delicious plant. Yeah, now mostly used for comedic effects. So I guess I have been pretty good about reading most of them. Okay. Give. There's another blood star limb. Uh, now there was more up there that I would like to go grab. If possible. Let me go ahead and eat. Okay. Well, yeah, we have been getting bodied. Um, it definitely shows that you just get used to games because I feel like I don't die this much in like a Souls game and stuff, but here I'm getting bodied. And it just very much controls differently and plays differently to how I'm used to, which is fun because I have I have had like specifically the Souls games, and especially after playing a ton of Elden Ring, specifically from soft stuff, I have had like a little bit of from soft Souls fatigue, in that like I'm so used to after playing so many of the games how everything's supposed to go, how every encounter is supposed to go things like that, that it started to get a little bit samey with some of the things. I think that's why I liked Lies of P so much, because Lies of P was more like Sekiro for me, um, with its, you know, focus on, like, parrying and things like that. So, it, it felt, it, 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 gave, it gave it, like, a little bit of a twist that I like more, whereas, like, Elden Ring and stuff, like, while it has a lot of that stuff, and Elden Ring did add a lot of new things, um, I just like the parry-based stuff so much, and I don't like the parrying as much in, like, typical FromSoft stuff. I definitely like the Sekiro Lies of P way of doing it, where you string together a bunch of tacks, so it's, like, really cool, because you're like, clang, 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 like, you're having a cool sword fight or something like that. I definitely like that a lot. That's not to say I don't like FromSoft games, uh, like Souls games, or I didn't like Elden Ring or anything like that. I absolutely had a fun time with them. But, uh, I do, I do like playing stuff a little bit different and seeing other people try their hand at the formula, because, uh, more variety for anything like that is good. Uh, this is gonna be a boss fight, isn't it? A small blast of confetti that deals damage and interrupts enemies. That's pretty good. You seem quite large, and I'm intimidated. There are, though, a lot of shields around here. Um, okay. Um. Uh-huh. Crushing attacks. The blue aggro symbol lets you know a bit enemy is about to use a crushing attack. These are powerful blows that are very likely to break your shell if you're hitting it. When you see it, be sure to dodge, run, or jump out of the way. Okay, we can run. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. And strong attack. Gotcha! Yeah, the popper is quite good, actually. Yeah, that's a good- that's a good one. Defeat a mini-boss! I did it! And I actually nailed that one. I died to, like, the Generico enemies earlier, but I beat that. A gorgeous pearl, manufactured somewhere beyond the ocean. <laughs> it looks perfect for impressing royalty. That's what I needed. Yay! Okay, I quite like the party popper thing. It's quite nice. Oh, hey, Moon Jelly. Um, there's nothing else I'm, like, missing over here or anything, right? I don't see anything. Okay. Cool. Or er, Moon Snail. Sorry, not Jelly. What am I- what am I on about? What's a game where I've played that has Moon Jelly? All I can think of is, like, Jellyfish Jelly from Spongebob or, like, Royal Jelly, which is, like, a bee thing. Or something. Some kind of bug thing. Alright. Hi. Long last, the hermit lays eyes on the most... on the powerful, borderline sensual body of the moon snail. Hi. Well, thanks for leading me here. I think the Duchess is really gonna like this pearl. But I still need a way to get out of this cave. In order to progress, the hermit crab will need to further expand on his umami abilities. Cool. Uh, how do I do that? 
I'm getting to it, damn- I- I mean, um... The hermit crab closes his eyes and allows himself to become one with the waves. He notices the effect his body has on the currents around him, and lets himself be changed by them in turn. Okay... Hey, when I close my eyes, I can start to see something. I see a tree? Some sort of tree of skills? <laughs> hey, here we go! Alright, so I can unlock Shelloportation. Every single thing leaves currents in its wake as it travels through the ocean. Be it a living person, beast, corpse, even a piece of garbage. The life force of the ocean, the beating heart of this world. This phenomenon is known as Umami. Invisible to most, Umami currents can be detected only by a chosen few. Even fewer still can make use of them. Oh, the glowing purple stuff. I've seen that surrounding some big shells and crystals out there. Surprising. Guess I didn't need to zap you then. I mean, um, the, the hermit crab training may for progress further, uh, faster than anticipated. He feels that perhaps if he enters a discarded moon snail shell, a new use for it might reveal itself. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna take some of your stuff. If that's cool with you. I do like the uh, the added benefit of the abilities and stuff now. So happy I, did, I decided to play this. Like I said, it was a it was a bit of a bit of a struggle because you know I was already in the middle of three things and quite busy and everything with work recently. But I had to play this. Like it's such a me game in so many ways that I that I could not let it pass. Shelloporting! Krill's attunement to Umami will now enable him to warp to any moon snail shells he has previously visited. Cool. And I can level up. So, um, I'm gonna be honest, this does seem like the type of game where HP and specifically resistance is going to be quite strong. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go like totally in on umami based attacks. I also don't feel like the leveling up in this is going to be as tight as um, it is in say like a souls or something where you can screw up your build by messing up early. I think I can kind of just futz with this and generally be pretty fine um but my minus nine percent affliction build up getting everything to like two makes sense to me um and i do like umami damage so i would be interested in messing around with the various forms of that i don't know if you can build into just that or not but, uh, it would be cool to mess around with, I think, so. Getting everything to two kind of makes sense to me, and I don't think we'll totally just destroy my build or anything, if you can even really call something in this, like, a build, but we'll, we'll see. I'm also gonna need to get to, like, certain levels to equip certain items and things like that as well. So, possibly a good way to handle it would just be to aim for things that I want to put on, and then build my stats around that, so... Um, did I read all of these? Popular shell due to its sturdiness and simplicity, and decipherable markings align the outside. The shell has no spell. As soon as I get this back, everything can go back to normal. Plastic armor favored by Slack Tide's light infantry. Uh, once worn by denizens of the Grove, the shell can withstand seemingly any single hit, but quickly falls to pieces. And the rest of them we read. Cool. Um, and I don't want to shell a port, because uh, I want to level up some more skills. Do not have the prerequisite for this skill. Um, so I can't get any of the other skills yet. It seems. I have Shelloportation and that is it. Okay, so it seems like we gotta wait on that then. Alrighty, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end things off here because I'm streaming in two minutes. So, uh, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.